folks, real quick before I begin the video, please click the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at King London Supreme. Follow me on Facebook at Jeff London Official. Real quick, I want to talk to you how I how I got shredded, how I got ass. It's November 2nd, 2017, and I'm bulking. I'm about 217 right now. Um, so I'm up about five pounds, and um, I still have my ass. I'm lean bulking, but I didn't always have abs. Uh, I used to um, I used to be a chubby kid, right? And then I used to be a real skinny kid. And then I went to building up muscle and being just a real bulky guy with no definition. And then I finally figured out how to get lean, how to get ripped, and maintain muscle mass. And one of the key factors for me is just my diet. I stopped eating so frequently. And um, I transitioned into a diet plan called intermittent fasting, which has cha changed my life. I always recommend it. Um, I'm a firm believer in that you can't prescribe one diet to the to the masses. Right? You can't tell everybody to be vegan. You can't tell everybody to be paleo. You know, it, it has to work for you. But sometimes you have to actually buy in and make things work for you, right? So, and there's different ways to do intermittent fasting. This is how I do it, and this is how it works for me, and this is how it works for all my clients, right? And um, a lot of people have gone through my nutritional program and lost tons of weight, and this works, right? I've tested it. Intermittent fasting is basically where you fast from the moment you wake up. You fast anywhere between six and eight hours, right? Upon waking up, and that people go crazy over it. Like, oh my God, I can't eat for six and eight hours after you wake up. But there are different strategies you can go about doing it, right? So sometimes you can have a piece of fruit. Um, you can have some coffee. Now here's the thing, when you have a piece of fruit or your protein shake, it, it affects the fast. It's not a hard fast anymore. So you won't be seeing the same results, but you'll still see results, right? Let me just tell you about the exact way you should do it. Intermittent fasting is you wake up, let's say I wake up at six o'clock in the morning. And let's say I have my first meal at 12. I have an eight hour feeding window. That means I can eat from 12 to eight. And then after eight, no more food. I'll eat all the way again until the next day, right? So I go to sleep, let's say I go to sleep at 10, I wake up at six, I have my first meal again at 12. And basically what intermittent fasting does for you during your fast period now, keep in mind, you're sleeping about eight hours too. Like your, your last meal comes at 8 p.m. and then your first meal comes at 12 p.m. the next day, right? So basically, your body will start using fat to, as energy. It will start burning fat. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna get your body in a state of burning fat for fuel opposed to burning carbohydrates for fuel. So that's just the, like the backstory behind intermittent fasting. Here are a couple tips on how you could implement intermittent fasting. And this is how I suggest, if you're someone that has a hard uh, time fasting or you're used to eating breakfast on a regular basis, this is how I suggest you go into intermittent fasting. I suggest you wake up and you have a fast. You fast as long as you can. Right, so you wake up at six, or let's say you're, you're just having a hard time, you make it till 10 a.m., fine. Have a piece of fruit, right? Preferably a, a piece of fruit that's low in sugar. So have blueberries, have apple, have uh, cranberries, have raspberries. Have a piece of fruit, right? And then have some coffee. You know, even, even have a green juice if you have to. But then hold on to your fast. I don't want you eating any full meals until six to eight hours after you wake up. So around 12 and two, that's anywhere between 12 and two, you have your first meal. Let's say you have your first meal at 12. You've had some fruit to get you through your fast. You have a, you have a clean meal at 12, right? Let's say you have some sweet potato, you have some broccoli, and you have some grilled chicken, right? That's your lunch. Then you chill out. Then you have your dinner around eight o'clock. You know, you have a little snack in between, and then you have your dinner at eight o'clock. Then you don't eat again until the next day, all right? So that's how I want you to start. I want you to start by trying to hold the fast. If you can hold the fast and have nothing, a hard fast, the only, that's great. The only thing that will not affect your fast is coffee, black coffee. If you have regular black coffee while you're fasting, you will get the full benefits of intermittent fasting. Now once you start having fruit, it kind of tapers off a little bit, but you still will see a lot of results, all right? But just to recap, intermittent fasting. You wake up, from the moment you wake up, you fast anywhere between six and eight hours. All right, then 
from the moment you have your first meal, you have an eight hour window to eat. We call it a feeding window, all right? After the eight hour window, you do not eat again, all right? And then you repeat that circuit. Now, you don't have to do this every day, right? But you want to do it the majority of the time. I do it the majority of the time. Sometimes I do intermittent fasting for a week straight. Um, but other times I don't. Some days I wake up and my body's hungry. I listen to my body, it's like really hungry and I'll just eat. But in the beginning, I think you should try your best to develop the habit. You just gotta get over the hump. I'm telling you, in the beginning is tough, but I'm, this is the best thing I've ever done. Intermittent fast, I, I've tried a lot of diets, man. Uh, intermittent fasting is by far the best thing I've ever done. You just gotta get used to it. The first few days, the first five days or so, it can be difficult, I'm be honest with you. But your body is just so quickly. I'm telling you, within days, you're back within days. So, intermittent fasting, trust me on this, you'll hug my neck. So click the link in the bio, it's your boy Jeff London. Hey, listen, subscribe, man. Peace.